when I was in school, it was, it was FFA, and uh, and it's, it's just great to have this club here to get the kids interested and then get the other kids that have no idea how much hard work and stuff that farming and stuff is and what it takes to feed the world. It's just amazing to get the kids interested in it. Anybody here from Jefferson or know where Jefferson is? I know where that is. You know where that is? This corn planter was made in Jefferson around 1890 at Yonke Valley. I had a group of students come to me a few years ago um, and ask if I would advise them for the Future Farmers Club. We um, are not a national chapter because we don't have any agricultural courses, but we are looking to do that in the future. Um, and it's grown from a group of about five students to 35. That's why I went to Vote Tech because they had future farming and, and, uh, and horticulture. Went through that program because they didn't have that here at Spring Grove, and I'm happy to see that they're starting this up here. We have students who um, have horses, they work on farms, they just have an interest in agricultural in general. They may be looking to do something in the future that has to do with agriculture, like engineering um, and different things like that. So it's not just the farmers in the area. The younger generation here gets them interested in something that normal things happen, how things in life happen and stuff, and it's, it's not the computer or not the iPad, or it's things that you take with you the rest of your life that you learn and stuff. In York City was a major manufacturing place for farm machinery. You needed a straw bench on the farm to cut fodder for feed for the, for the animals. You also needed it so you could fill your mattresses because you couldn't go to sleepies and buy a mattress. You'd empty out your mattress every spring, stuff it with some new straw, and that's what you slept on. That's what they had. It helps them learn about agriculture more. It helps, it helps our young people. You know, it brings them into this field so that, that, that we can have uh, farmers in the future, which we need because you can't eat without farmers. So, you know, and it helps educate the school. You know, you need somebody to educate the school about farming. Kids need to be educated about farming.